Okay, what is a fraction? Hmm. Fraction is represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. And also fraction is written as one over two, for example. Now top number, we call it numerator and the bottom number, we call it denominator. Think of it as a N as a north, north going this way and D as a down going down. Okay, so when you're looking at the uh, first diagram here, it says one, that's a one whole, okay? And second one, it's half. Now, the important part here is it's equal parts, okay? There's a two parts that has to be equal, okay? So top half has to be equal to the bottom half. Now, third one is divided into four sections, four parts. Now, each part, each part has to be equal parts, okay? And it's a one quarter, one over four. So it's only indicating one part of that four parts. And the fourth one is a third over four, so three quarters. So the three parts, three equal parts out of four parts we're going to looking at, okay? Now, second part we're going to look at is how to calculate fraction of a quantity. Now, when it says a, a calculate, doesn't mean you're gonna to have to use a calculator to do it. It just means working it out. That's what it means. Now, let's have a look at two over five times 10. So our numerator is two and our denominator is five. And we have some extra here that we didn't know about. That's a 10 here. So what does that really mean? It means two equal parts out of five equal parts. I would like to know, but there are 10 um, items in that equal parts. Hmm. Let's uh, use some pictures in this one. So I have a five equal sized cups here. One, two, three, four, five cups here. Okay, they're all the same. And then I have a 10 marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And what I'm interested in is how many marbles are there in two cups? In two cups. I know there's a five cups and I know there's a ten marbles, but I'm not really interested in those yet. I just want to know how many marbles in two cups. That's what I'm interested in. Okay, that's what it means. So if I actually placed marbles uh, in five cups equally, okay, this will be looking like this. Okay, so I'll put one marble at a time in each cup. One, two, three, four, five and then I have to go back to my first cup to keep putting the leftover marbles six seven eight nine ten so I used up all my ten marbles in that into that five cups now I just want to know how many marbles in two of those okay so it could be just first two here, okay? So that means one, two, three, four. So there's a four marbles in there, okay? So this means I would like to know how many marbles in two cups, if there are five cups altogether. That's what it means, okay? Number one, one fifth 
times ten dollars ten dollars okay hmm one fifth so what does that one fifth mean one cup out of five cups they're all the same size i want to know how much in each cup if we had ten dollars to put it in so i'm just going to put just one cup as a just one bar here one two three four five they're all the same size there's a five cups and i'm going to put a coins so i've got 10 coins in there one dollar coin okay 10 of them so it'll make ten dollars so i'm going to go with that so one dollar two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay okay so i have five cups and ten coins it's very similar to what we've been doing here but instead of two cups we are just looking at one cup okay so just one cup here that's going to be two dollars okay question one i just put it into a more fun way of looking at it there are five cups and we want to know how much in one cup it's two dollars so answer is two dollars now question two we have five over eight meaning there are eight same size cups but we want to looking at just five of them and there are 40 grams we need to put it in equally into eight cups and we want to know how many grams in those five cups i just named those eight cups by numbering them and i put grams each one gram into each cup until i spent all my 40 grams when i've done that it shows there are five grams in each cup now question is five out of eight so we need to know how many grams are in those five cups so when I just circled uh, five cups and five grams, that means five plus five plus five plus five plus five, which add up to 25. So my answer is 25 grams. Now there, are, there is an easier way of doing it. After you're understanding all these, we could just uh, basically calculate without drawing all these cups or little bars to, to calculate. I mean, it's all okay if number is a smaller, but what if I had to do eight cups with like 100 marbles or 150 grams? can't just sit there and draw cups and then put the dots in it it's going to take a while it's not a bad idea doing it when you're trying to understand the concept but it's hard to do it all the time so next time if we want to do five over eight times 40 without drawing cups or bars or little dots we just want to do some mathematical calculation so i'm going to show you how to do some simple ones here i have one over five times ten dollars you could think of as there are five people and i want to know how much will one person get if i have to separate or divide it equally into five 
So that means five, one over five times, I could just make it to 10 over one. I could make it that as a two fractions. If I do that, it would be a lot easier because I just have to times numerators together and denominators together. So it'd be one times 10 and five times one. And that'll equal to 10 over five. And they're both 10 and five are family of five. So I could simplify that because there's how many fives going to five once, how many fives going to 10 twice. So it'd be two over one, and we do not worry about over one. So that'd be just two. And don't forget the unit, $2. Now quickly, if I do two over five times $15, for example. So I will do two over five times 15 over one. And then I'm gonna times the top ones together, denominators together, five times one. So numerators together, denominators together. And two times 15, what's a double of 15? 30 and a five. And luckily 30 and five in the same family, so I can simplify. And it's a family of five, so five goes to five once, five goes to 36 times. And I am not going to worry about one in the denominator. So my answer is $6. Okay, that's a lot simpler than drawing a pictures, but I think it's important to know both so that you will understand a little bit better. Well, that's all for now. See ya. Bye.